All right, students, I'd like to welcome you back. And we are on page 56 and on lesson number four, grammar focus. Grammar focus is some and any. So in our last lesson, we studied a little about some and any, but let's take a look at this slide just to review some and any. Some is generally used, generally means Some is generally used in positive or affirmative sentences. I ask her to lend me some money. Can you lend me some money? Can you lend me some money? Can you loan me some money? Some can also be used anywhere in the sentence. At the beginning of the sentence, some of my friends can speak English well. Some is not generally used in a question, but there is an exception to the rule. So remember in English, we have many grammar rules, but we break the rules a lot. And so some can also be used in questions if you're offering something to someone, if we're giving something to someone, or if we're asking them uh, for something, we can use. We can use it. Would you like some coffee? Can I have some coffee? May I have some coffee? Some can be used with uncountable and plural, countable nouns, both of them. He made some mistakes. Okay. Do you have some bananas? That's a countable noun. Do you have some rice? That's an uncountable noun. You can use it with both. Any is generally used in negative sentences. I will not see him anymore. It means no more. I will not see him again. It's a negative sentence. And any usually means none, nothing, never, not. But there are exceptions to the rules. Any can only be used in positive sentence if it's used with conjunctions such as if and whether. Example, we'll always help you if you have any problems or troubles. If you have any problems, I will help you if you have any. So if you use if, you can use any in a positive sentence. Any cannot be used at the beginning of a sentence. We do not use. You can use some at the beginning of the sentence, but you cannot use any at the beginning of a sentence. Any is used in questions. Are you allergic to any medicine? Do you have any medicine in your house? Any can be used with countable and plural countable nouns. You can borrow any books from me. You can borrow any books from me. All right, so that's just a summary. And so let's look at the, the lesson on page 56. Do we need any meat? We need some hamburger meat. We don't have any chicken. Do we need any soda? Yes, let's get some soda. No, we don't have any soda. Yes, let's get some. No, we don't have any. Okay, so say these after me. Do we need any meat? Say it. Intonation. Do we need any meat? We need some hamburger meat. We don't have any chicken. Do we need any soda? Yes, let's get some soda. Yes, let's get some. No, we don't need any soda. No, we don't need any. So you see, the question, do we need any soda? You can answer it by saying, yes, let's get some soda. You can use the word soda again, but it's not necessary to use the word soda again. 
You can say, let's get some. No, we don't have any soda. Or you can say, no, we don't have any. It's not necessary to use the word soda again. So complete this conversation with some or any. Okay, so I'm going to say it. I will complete the sentence for you. This is Amanda and Adam. Hmm. Let's not buy any let's not buy any potato salad. Let's make some at home. Okay, so we need some potatoes. Is there any mayonnaise at home? No, we need to buy some. Okay, we need some onions too. Oh, I don't want any onions in the salad. I hate onions. Then let's buy some celery. That's delicious in potato salad. Good idea. And some carrots too. Okay, so you see they're making potato salad. And so these are the, we say, these are the ingredients. The ingredients is the mhob uh, sang sang. Ingredients in the potato salad. Potatoes, mayonnaise, onions, celery, and carrots. Okay, so these are the ingredients of the potato salad. You see how they use any and some, but I want you to make sure you say the S, the T's, and the consonants, the contractions, all right? That's what I want you to say. Let's not buy any, men let, let's not buy any potato salad. Let's make some at home. We need some potatoes. Some is a, is a plural word, so you need to use Plural noun, potatoes, potatoes. Is there any mayonnaise? The way we say that is mayonnaise. Mayon, mayon, mayonnaise. The S has the Z sound, mayonnaise. No, we need to buy some. And we need to buy some onions. Whenever you see some, you know it's a plural word, and so you need a plural noun. Onions, plural with the S. I don't want any onions in the salad. I hate onions. So onions, 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 all with the S, all plural. Let's buy some celery. We say that celery, not salary. Salary is brakai, se. It's, the C makes the S sound, the E makes the short E sound, eh, celery. And the ER makes the ER sound, celery. That's delicious in potato salad, that's. The celery is delicious, that's delicious. Good idea, and some carrots. Carrots, care, like I care for you, I care for the baby, I care for the puppy, carrots. Ruts, it sounds like R-I-T-S. Carrot, carrots is what it sounds like. All right, and so you say this after me. Somni itam lokru, hai somni yei doikni and dang lokru nai. All right? Hmm. Let's not buy any potato salad. Let's make some at home. Okay. We need some potatoes. Is there any mayonnaise at home? No, we need to buy some. Okay, and we need to buy some onions too. Oh, I don't want any onions in my salad. I hate onions. Then let's buy some celery. That's delicious in potato salad. Good idea. And some carrots too. Do you see the word celery? If you say salary, you're saying a completely different word. Salary is a vegetable. Salary is money. That's why it's important to pay attention to my pronunciation. Pay attention to my intonation and pause. So let's say it again. This time you watch me. Hmm. Let's not buy any potato salad. Let's make some at home. Okay, we need some potatoes. 
Is there any mayonnaise at home? No, we need to buy some. Okay, and we need some onions too. Oh, I don't want any onions in the potato salad. I hate onions. Then let's buy some celery. That's delicious in potato salad. Good idea. And some carrots too. All right, I want you to, to say these again. I want you to watch the video again. I want you to say these again. There's lots of common mistakes that Cambodian ESL students make. And so I want you to say it the way that I say it with pronunciation, intonation, pause, and stress, all right? So watch the video again and practice saying it. And make sure you get the plural. There's lots of plural in this plural words in this unit. All right, so you watch the video again, and then we'll go on to the next lesson, lesson five.